Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks and welcome you all to some Fallout 4 on the Xbox One X. I was doing some Fallout 3 the other day and someone asked me why not 4. The reason for it was because that the that 3 had had the 10-bit colour palette update and 4 has yet to date have its enhanced drop on its patch. So this is Fallout 4 on the Xbox One X before it gets enhanced but it will still be using the extra power of the Xbox One X and I have had a little play with it and it looks particularly awesome anyway without the drops. I thought it would be nice to see what it looked like for a couple of parts before the enhancement and then we'll do some parts after the enhancement once that drops. So I'm going to do a new game even though I've already started one <clears throat> which I'll keep the save of for my own personal use. And if we do it from the beginning, I'll skip the big segment at the beginning if it gives us the whole war bit. War never changes. Okay, I may or may not leave the movie bit in. War. I will decide when I come to render it. Knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I'm pretty sure that most of you will have seen this game already. But if not, we'll do a little bit of the... Uh, <clears throat> We'll do a little bit of the facial things. Uh, we could just stick with the default. So if we hit A, we get face. It's quite a clever mechanism, actually. You just highlight the bit of the face you want to do, and you can change it. So if we say hair, go for style. <clears throat> Rattle through them all. And so on and so forth. You can do the same with all parts of the the face. I think what we'll do is, uh, for the sake of this playthrough and to see how good it looks on this particular machine on the Xbox One X, we'll skip all this and we'll just stick with the defaults. You can also jump between uh, <clears throat> the man and the woman. Hey, my turn, big guy. And do the same. When it comes to her, obviously. Rattle through the colours. New hair colour. Nice. <laughs> well, it impressed him anyway. Yeah. <clears throat> So what? Let's go with uh, go with the woman. A lot of you might have seen the the beginning with the the fellow. So let's do it with the woman. I mean, it looks gorgeous. It pans gorgeous. The colours are rich. Thanks, Codsworth. I played the on the PS4 Pro. I played this through as the woman. <clears throat> Love the voice acting from the woman who did it. Not sure who it was, but very good. <clears throat> hey, little one. Oh, blimey. <laughs> Whoa, easy. Cosworth coming to sort it out. Grognak the Barbarian and the Jungle of the Bat Babies. <laughs> Bolt tech van outside. Here comes the man. I'm not sure if that happens in exactly the same time every time you start this game. I assume you can do what you you like around the house. It's not he doesn't appear based on the fact you drank your coffee or whatever. <clears throat> I mean the colours are really rich in this room. I don't know why 
Yeah, he keeps buying. Very rich indeed. Good morning. Hello. Calling. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. <clears throat> you can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. <laughs> yeah, I believe you. <clears throat> glad you're here. I'm glad I opened the door. Oh, me too. You have no idea. Now I know you're a busy woman, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being, um, <laughs> a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Okay, I'm going to go through these options in the quickest way I can. Uh, so I think sounds great. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> I just need to verify some information. That's all. Okay. Sure. Let's do it. Splendid. Splendid. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see. Okay, 21 points to spend. <clears throat> now, I'm pretty sure I went with... Uh... Do -do 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 -do. Uh, agility, measurement, overall finesse. <clears throat> what was intelligence? Oh, it's experience points earned. Mm. Yeah, go with that, I think. And a name. Go with something that's just come into the top of my head for no apparent reason. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just going to walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, Woohoo! Thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and yeah. Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Miss Laura, Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that maternal affection you seem to be so good at. <laughs> Go ahead, honey. I think you're probably right. I think the the very astute of you would have realised there that Codsworth actually said the name that I just picked. He said, Miss Lara. <laughs> so that was quite... I assume there is a catalogue of names because I did call my one of my characters Sky, I think, and I'm pretty sure he didn't say Sky. So if you pick a name that Codsworth is in his dictionary of names, because <laughs> I did Steve in my other playthrough here, and he knows that one. My boy isn't giving his mother any trouble, is he? Hey. Fix that mobile on his crib the other day. Why don't you give it a spin? That's my boy. On his best behavior, just like his dad. Well, most of the time, anyway. <laughs> Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Uh, pretty sure I went headless there for a minute. Sounds fun. Yeah, sounds like fun. Codsworth? What's wrong? It's hitting the fan, sir. Followed by, <laughs> yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. We seem to have lost contact with what our did he say? stations. Oh, no. we, do, we do have, we do have coming in 
that's, um, confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Time to hustle. We need to get to the vault. Now! I've got Sean. Let's go. Residents of Sanctuary Hills. <laughs> Hello. Are you coming? Evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. I mean, it looks gorgeous. It won't be looking this gorgeous again in a minute, but... <laughs> Panning beautifully as well. No stickiness whatsoever. Very nice. On the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. I'm glad that guy got the list up there ASAP and didn't hang about. All those people outside the gate. Everything we can. Now keep moving. Step on the platform in the center. Is Sean okay? He's fine. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Oh my god! Ooh, big bada boom. Hold on! <laughs> I actually ducked then. <clears throat> in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... Yeah. Hey. Up the stairs. Okay. Time to get our suits. Don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Just this way, please. This way. This way, please. Step over to the table and take a suit. You'll need your suits before we can take you Welcome. further. Thanks. Pick up a suit. What right now? Just, Just follow the way. doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Okay, Doc. Let's go. See? This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Everything we had. My mother and father down in DC. Oh God, honey. How long do you think we'll be down here? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. It's a good fit, don't you think? The bald suit is designed to be fashionable. It's plus comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Just step in here and put your vault suit on. and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. Time for a whole new life. <clears throat> Resident secure. Oh, this all seems very kosher. Normal. Procedure complete. In five, four.
the one here. Open it. gonna pay for that you dirty bird Oh my god, honey. Come on. There has to be a release. Come on, come on, come on. Oh god. I'll find who did this. And I'll get Sean back. I promise. He frozen and dead. Well, look. I'll avenge you, honey. I mean, I must say, I was extremely surprised at how smooth and well this played. I, I hadn't played it on the Xbox One, to be fair, so I have nothing to compare it to in that sense, but... Certainly comparing it to PS4 Pro and that's had its enhancement. This is pretty impressive people pretty impressive <clears throat> Might as well loot some things while we're here I assume there wasn't any uh Healthy type things on the wall. New. Uh. <laughs> Punch it to death. Giant roaches. What the hell? Well, that wasn't meant to happen. <laughs> Can you stand up, please? All the things I know of that are good for crafting, which is pretty much everything. Because you have to use it all for your weapons and your building of the town that you create, or towns, multitudes of them. With. What happened here? Where is everyone? I think we've been here a long time, people. Ah. 
Don't learn these roaches, do they? See, the friends are getting beat down and they just come anyway. Alright. Woo! Stim pack. Is this all that's left? Hello. Opening evacuation tunnel. If you read through this stuff in here, it actually tells you quite a bit of stuff that's gone on inside the the vault from the overseer's perspective and other people's as well. Which we won't do just now, because it's not overly exciting to watch me do it. What is quite exciting... Oh, hello. And another gun. Uh, what is quite exciting is the weapon that's in there. Cryolator case. Nice. Which we can't unlock yet. Coming back later for you. Yeah. <laughs> I like. <laughs> Still totally confused about everything, but we're gonna come back later for you, awesome weapon. Yep. Onward. <laughs> well, that's pretty interesting because I don't, I don't have one yet, do I? <laughs> I don't have a pit boy yet. So how I managed to go into me vats, I've got no idea. No, now, come on, go to the right one. Mid air. <laughs> nice. If one is it the lazy way. Get out. Am I the only one left? Could be. Aye, aye, what have we here then? Whoop, whoop. So iconic, the old pit boy now, isn't it? Gigantic iPhone on your arm. <laughs> CRT iPhone. Do this. <laughs> it's like a cigarette lighter, isn't it? Connection or something. Quite the sight.
Gives you that option in case you want to change anything. Bright light. I love how it's all blurry until her eyes adjust. I mean, it looks fantastic and the, the, well, the distance stuff looks fantastic as well, which was something that was improved on the PS4, but this, as I say, this hasn't been enhanced yet, so. And it pans lovely, very nice indeed. <laughs> Hair that moves people. There's a there's a thing. Always find it easier in first person in this game though. <clears throat> Especially for picking stuff up and searching and looting and blah. But let's We shall head down to the village. I don't think there was anything up there, was there? There's a little house up there, yeah, there is. I think I missed that on my my playthrough. Can get back down from there. I've never actually been back to Vault 111 since I left it, so it's quite quite interesting having noticed that button because <clears throat> you you can go back at any time. I suppose it does say that when you want to go back and get that weapon, doesn't it? That you can't take just now. Beautiful. He says, walking into a fence. And the god rays are already in this game. Coming in. <clears throat> I think they enhanced the god rays for... Certainly for the PS4 Pro. I assume that's what they're doing for the... Xbox One as well. On the X. Well, there's a piece of music that will copyright this video if ever I heard it. Codsworth! Where have you been? Codsworth? As I live and breathe. Oh, it's it's really you. Codsworth, what happened to the world? The world, Mum? Well, besides our geranium still being the envy of Sanctuary Hills. I'm afraid things have been dreadfully dull around here. Things will be so much more exciting with you and Sir back. Where is your better half, by the by? <clears throat> they... They killed him. Oh, Mum, these things you're saying, these terrible things, I, I believe you'll need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this, this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or, or perhaps charades. Oh, Sean does so love that game. <laughs> is, is the lad uh, with you? He loves that game. He's a baby. <laughs> can't even speak, can't even move. <clears throat> He's gone. God damn it. Someone took him. 
They stole my baby. It's worse than I thought. Mm -hmm. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> 200 years? What? Are you sure? A bit over 210, actually, Mum. Give or take a little for the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack. You must be famished. Codsworth, you're acting a little weird. What's wrong? I... I... Just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing. And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house <laughs> and the car. The car! How do you polish rust? <laughs> Stay with me, pal. Focus. I'm afraid I don't know anything, Mum. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were, were dead. I, I did find this holotape. I believe Sir was going to present it to you. As a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. A holotape? What's on it? I believe it's a private message for you. My etiquette protocols would not permit me to play it for myself. Any standard holotape reading device should be able to play it. Well, I have one as it happens. Pip-Boy on your arm. That <clears throat> Sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? Sir and young Sean may turn up yet. Yes, I doubt it, but come on then. All right. Lead the way. Proud to serve, Mum. <laughs> What's all this then? Found you. <laughs> Codsworth does pretty well at this. I mean, he's hard stuck to get a shot in. He's a pretty good character to take out on the journey with you, actually. You can, once you come back from uh, the first town, Concord, <clears throat> he'll offer to come with you. Uh, and you can use him instead of the dog. There's, there's umpteen companions, but... Uh, you can you can take Cosworth pretty early on, and he can carry quite a lot, and he's he's pretty uh, pretty uber in a fight. He doesn't get down as much as the dog. I notice the dog seems to go down quite a lot in fights. Who is he? Codsworth. Miss Lara, Sir and young Sean, they aren't here. No. Thanks for trying, Codsworth. You can't give up, Mum. What about the city? <laughs> I looked at two houses. Well, the people there have only shot at me a few times. There's still people alive in Concord? Yes, although they're a bit rough. You remember the way? Just across the southern footbridge out of the neighborhood and past the Red Rocket Station? I shall remain here and secure the home. There we go. So we can get a Concord now. We've got a mission for that. I think we'll do that actually, just so we can see a bit of the world and different type of action. Normally, when I play this game, <clears throat> I've set up a few things before I go, so that when they come back from there...
we've got somewhere for them to stay. And there's a quick way of doing this. <clears throat> there's plenty of stuff to stuff to scrap in this this old town. This old town got stuff to scrap. Yeah, this old town got stuff to scrap. So, <clears throat> the quickest way of going about it. If we've got enough stuff, that is. Just to go with the big prefab. Where's the door? Front door. Go for... I've not got much in the way of cloth, which will be our downfall here, so let's just... Now, the quick way of getting cloth at this point is scrap everything you come across in the houses. Because you can spend time doing them later. Uh, things like this will have cloth, I think. Yep, two cloth. To be fair, I scrap everything in the houses. I only avoid things like, there's more cloth, <clears throat> anything that might have something in it, like a, an openable box, then I can come back and check them first, and then scrap them later. There's cloth in it, isn't it? Uh, sod it. So, yeah, a quick way to get cloth is go around into the houses and pick up anything like a sofa or a chair that's got material on it. Don't know if they've got cloth on them, have they? No. Nope. So, just these ones. Rugs, even. Okay, that might be enough for now. <clears throat> 26 cloth, there you go. In a matter of moments, people. So what I tend to do here is I just put a few beds in here. Enough for the amount of people coming back anyway. This is if you want to do it in some sort of nice fashion. You don't have to do it as nicely as this, of course. doing. Stop. Stop. It's typical when you're trying to show off what you normally do and then it won't do it as smoothly as when you normally do it. Okay. So we've got two, three, four beds downstairs and it's going to fall down the stairs here I think. Yeah. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. Okay. And as it happens, I think we just run out of cloth. So there you go. So there you've got your beds for them, and you've got a little house for them. <clears throat> the old woman asked you to build her a chair. I usually build it in there, but the last time I played it, because she got on my nerves, because once she sits in the chair, she didn't do anything else. So I put it up here on the balcony for her, the, 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 the playthrough I'm doing now. And the other thing you can think about is... There's certain things, you'll see them at the top. People, food, water, power, defense beds, happiness... So happiness is based on all of those things being right for the amount of people that you've got in the place. And oh, I've got enough for a generator. Uh, not enough copper to do the light though, by the looks of it. But I know where to get that, I think. So I'll stick the generator down. And... Pop a switch on the house. Link generator to switch. And... We need one copper. And I'm pretty sure... We might be able to get that from there. 
Oh no, maybe not. Uh, is it the kind of the cars are steel, aren't they? It was going so well. I know you can get it from little lamps and such like. Skeleton in the window. Halloween. Nice. Oh, I don't know. There's never a, li a lamp just kicking around when you need one. I was. I could have sworn those lamp posts had copper in them. Steel rubber fuse with broken light bulb. Oh, there you go. Yeah. The broken light bulb's got copper in it, must have. Right, and then I just put a light bulb in there, and we've got light. And there you go. You could, in theory, put another one upstairs, but for now, a light bulb down there's probably fine. You could put one there. There you go. <clears throat> so that leaves you with water. Get XP's for doing this as well, remember? So it's all worth doing. And I'm not sure if we can do any food at the minute. We don't have any, but I think there is some gourd or some melons growing around here. So yeah, so you can you there is a little there's a few things growing here. And in some of the backyards, you can find some more. So when they come back, you just assign someone to those foods. But it's worth picking. It's worth harvesting stuff when you're out in the world. And then you've got that to plant when you come back. So there you go. So up at the top, we've got six water. We've got three power. And no defense. So defense would be the next thing to look at, which... Can do with those. I generally speaking, I put a couple of those out and a couple of turrets, but we don't have any gears for turrets at the moment. But we will have by the time we come back. So I usually put a couple of these down at the front with a couple of turrets, and that's your defence sorted out just while you get going. When you get so you know, you can make it more complicated than that later on. But stick one there. And one there, maybe. There you go. There you go. A couple of sentry posts. It's pretty easy to clean up the town as it happens. And these big, big lumps can be completely destroyed. It's a shame that they didn't let you destroy all of the houses, to be fair. Because you could have made it a lot better looking if they did, gave you that option. But they didn't. For some reason, they wanted to keep the... Keeping the way they are, to some extent. Really? Not even wasting me bullets on you. I was going to say that looked like bullets. All right. So how do we have it? That's about as much as we can do. Well, we can do a lot more, but I won't, you know, we'll get out there and we'll see a bit of the action before this part's up. But that's you. So you've got your house in the middle. You've got your crafting going. And when you come back, 
they've got somewhere to sleep. They've, you can assign them to food, you can assign them to defences, and then they start taking care of themselves for a little bit while you crack on with the world. And the the old woman asks you to build her a chair, so you get XP for that. The one of the guy, one of the main guys, asks you to do all of these things. He asks you to craft something, get some food together, get water together. And when you when he starts saying it to you, you've done half of it, and you just keep your XP just clocks up. Win win. Let's give it a little save. Get ourselves out there. I had this place looking awesome when I was on the PS4 Pro. I spent a long time on me crafting on PS4 Pro. You'll see some videos on the channel somewhere. That I can't remember what playlist I'll put them under. But uh, had some pretty awesome places. Uh, I don't think we'll take the pipe pistol. In fact, I'm going to go back into first person. I think it's a better way of showing off the surroundings. You can also turn this look, this place into a little town. Woohoo! Dog me! Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? <laughs> you want to come with me, pal? Got ourselves okay, a partner. Then. Let's stick together. Didn't use dog meat enough in my playthroughs before. I'm using him in my most recent one. Click on the workbench and that's you got it. Ready to rumble. We won't do any more crafting at this point. <clears throat> I don't want it to be a crafting video, people. Oh, God. Something else to cut. All those little radios is... Uh, I tried to do videos on this back in the day and uh, they just get copyrighted in my videos because of all those little radios playing music. Ah! Wrong button, Steven. <laughs> well, we did well there. Weren't for fighting us, were they? Don't know where we went to. Onward. It was a bit disappointing you couldn't go in every house. You know, it was... Would have been nice to be able to just loot everywhere. Caps. It is kind of one of those games you can't not look around for stuff, otherwise you'd be without bobby pins and crafting materials and such like. Locks really strong. Not to mention your stim packs and everything else. Radex, Radaway. Radaway, Radaway. It looks gorgeous, doesn't it? The colours are so rich. Here we go. Get off my dog. 
freak. Ooh, in the shins. He down. Ooh, one eye shot as well. That's what you get for walking around in your long johns, sir. <laughs> Dog's attacking someone behind that dummy eye. Now look. Nice work, dog meat. I see ya. The Raiders are almost through the door. Grab that laser musket and help us, please. Will do. Just let me loot. I think that was everybody. Fuses, they're good for crafting. Light bulbs are a defo. Duct tape, oh, anything that's got sticky stuff, you want that. Adhesive. God, the amount of times I try and do stuff with my weapons, I've got no adhesive. Plenty more places to loot in this area, but we'll crack in, see a bit of action. Let's see what we've picked up here. I usually stick with the leather armor, but until we get some, uh, we'll stick the right arm, left leg, right leg. Oh, I always wear the welding goggles for some reason. Too easy. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Sweet. Mining helmet. Oh, he's a, he's a minute man. For some reason, whenever I've played this before, I didn't. Well, I suppose that's why he's got the gun right enough, Steve. Come on, pay attention. I always assumed he was a raider. Well, I think I'm going to put that there. Put that there. And put that up at the top for now, but uh, that's going to get replaced with someone else soon enough. In fact, I'll tell you what, we'll stick it here for now. Change my mind. Woo! Crank it up. All right, here we go. Now we're cooking. Let's go in and give them a hand. Ooh. 
Ooh, that's got hurt. Sneaky beggar. He did. Stick it out. Oh, he's still up. You do this bit a bit later as it happens, but it's uh It's gonna send you tell you to come down here anyway. To get the fusion core. I think you can hack that anyway if you want to get the XP for it. Even though you've opened the door. Let's just do it while we're here, shall we? If dog meat will get out of the way. I didn't realise in doing this that you can actually get rid of the duds by matching the... matching brackets. Must have played the game three times before someone told me that. I think it might have been Alyssa. But then I always have been a bit slow, people. We know this already. Alright, let's give it a try. What have we got? No likenesses in while. Whoa, none in Lee either. Two Intels. Well, that's flummoxed me. <laughs> Two Intels. T E E L. It was going so well, people.
Ah. Sweet. Haha, <laughs> the E and the S. You see? I don't know, eh? <laughs> that was a novice one. Right, okay. Onward. See how good those goggles look, eh? Told you. Fans are good. Fans are good. Fans are good. Did a little bit. The reason I always stick with leather is because you can make it into light leather, if I remember. Keeps you nice and light, so when you're out on the hunt for stuff, uh, it's just the best. And, and I collect it for the people of the towns as well, and then give them the armor and the weapons and equip them. So it's just much easier carrying it all around, and it looks awesome as well. It's the best looking armor, in my opinion, once you get it all upgraded. Says me. Ooh, shotty shells, nice. I'm glad that was a tall flask and not a short flask, eh? Right, I think we did a full circle there. Onward. Oh, easy. Can't go that way. Uh, let's just get the hell out of here. We got no reason to hang around. The hell's the other one gone? <laughs> they get both of them in a one. How did that work? Shotgun, nice. Molotov. Stick the shotty on somewhere, can we? Up close and personal. I didn't make enough use out of this gun, actually, when I played it. A few times I have done. It's a great gun. I just, I think, when I tried to do stuff with it, it just, other stuff got more powerful more quickly. Come on. <laughs> what? That's nonsense. Ooh, you can see the red glinting in those goggles, eh? Flags look awesome as well, don't they? Check that out. Lovely. Hey, boys. Man, hey, dog meat, you comfy? Some of us are out there fighting, you know. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minutemen. Minutemen? Ah, uh, that ain't it. 
So now I'm traveling backward in time. Protect the people at a minute's notice. That was the idea. So I joined up, wanted to make a difference. And I did, but Maybe. things fell apart. Nope. Now it looks like I'm the last <coughs> man left standing. Who are these people? Just folks looking for a new home, a fresh start. I've been with them since Quincy. Lexington looked good for a while, but the ghouls drove us out of there. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. Well, you're not doing very well. Me, the Longs, Marcy and June. That's all Mama Murphy on the couch. And this here is Sturgis. Hey. Sorry. Sounds really rough. Uh, Thanks. Nah, that ain't it's good it. to meet someone who really cares. Anyway, we figured Concord would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. But, maybe. well, we do have one idea. <sighs> nope. One good idea can make all the difference. Sturgis, tell her. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school, pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of Cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. What makes that power armor so special? A West Tech internalized servo system, that's what! Inside that baby, super is the new normal. You'll be stronger, tougher, resistant to rads, and... Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Minigun? <laughs> hell yeah! I know, right? Only there's one hitch. The suit's out of juice. Probably been dry for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. I got you covered, buddy. I'll help if I can. What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement. Locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. I already have it. Actually, I already grabbed the fusion core. We're set. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. Okay, we've got the fusion core. Put the fusion core in the power armor. All right, let's speak to old Granny What's Face. Dog meat right to us. Old Granny Crackhead, as I like to call her. <laughs> so he's your dog. Ah, uh, he ain't my dog, no, sir. Dog meat. He's what you call his own man. You can't own a free spirit like that. But he chooses his friends and sticks with them. He'll stay by you now. I saw it. You saw it? It's the chems, kid. They give old Mama Murphy the sight. Oh, yeah, of course they do. Wait for as long as I can remember. What, you smoking girl? <laughs> That's incredible. I can see a bit of what was and what will be, and even what is right now. Uh, and right now, I can see this something coming, drawn by the noise and the chaos. And it is angry. What is it? Mama Murphy, I need more. Please. 
I'm, I'm sorry, kid. But I just don't know. The sight ain't always clear. Yeah, without your crack. Believe me when I tell you, <clears throat> there ain't a raider. <sighs> but I'm tired now. And if I ain't mistaken, you've got a job to do. Alrighty. <laughs> No, no, no. No, no. Hey, we need help. And we get a vault dweller? What are you going to do in that stupid jumpsuit? Bleed to death? Alrighty, thanks for the confidence. Perfect. Perception permanently increased by one. Thank you. I'll tell you what I have forgotten, actually. There's a... In the town, there's a mag on one of the counters that gives you something as well. Ragnarok the Gragnok or whatever he is. Gragnok the Invincible. You know what I mean. Get out of the way. Here we go. Let's get some power armor on people. Alright, so the way I normally do this <laughs> Nice Activate the power unit. Personal log. United States Army Staff Sergeant Michael Daly. This past Saturday, October 23rd, while en route to West Stockbridge, a vertebrate crashed into the roof of this museum. The cause? EMP following nuclear detonation. Several, in fact. From the intel I've gathered, this was a global event. The co-pilot was killed on impact. Pilot died of his injuries a day later. Day after that, Flaherty and Kanawa were shot by some scared, desperate survivors. Then Brzezanski took off running. Haven't seen him since. Now, it's my turn to go AWOL, if that concept even applies anymore. My armor's fusion core is burned out, so I guess my soldiering days are done. I'm heading to Boston, on foot, to see if my sister survived all So there is a very good reason that I'm not using the minigun, by the way, which I'll show you in a minute. You'll probably know the answer already if you played the game. Good luck, and God bless America. God bless the United States of America. The other guy's shooting at them from the balcony. You see his bullets flying out. Come on, I'm... Nice. Could do with a rifle, but never mind. Cannot hit shit from this distance. Well, that'll do. Jammy, get. Go on, make one count. Woo -hoo -hoo. Thank you. Still one up there, isn't there? Ooh, good shot. Oh, I've leveled up as well. He did. Now, I usually spend my first few points getting this up to six charisma. Should have done it at the beginning, really, but the reason for it is <clears throat> if you get it to six, you can then unlock the mayor, is it called? Local leader. And local leader, once you get those, will let you link your towns together. So it doesn't matter where you put all of your 
stuff you pick up, doesn't matter what town you put them in, you better uh, get them from one town to the other. As long as you link them. So that's why I do that first. So it makes building much more fun and easy. Okay. So we're about to see why I left the minigun. Gas canisters, I think, have got oil in them. And we always take duct tape because we've got adhesive on it. Lighters are good as well. Flip lighters have got springs, I think, in them and oil as well. Is there another one? No, there's a good guy down there, isn't there? Very nice. Huh. Another guy out there. I thought we had them all, guys. Go on. Go on, Garvey. Another one down there as well. Don't remember being this many of them. Here we go, here we go. See him? Right at the top there. Death Claws just came out of the floor. Walking up at the top. And that's what I've saved the minigun for. Love this when we jump down here. <laughs> Ground shaker. <laughs> they all die together, cuddling. Better not sneak up on me, that guy. It's usually right down at the bottom. There he is. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, okay, can't move. <laughs> it was going so well, people. Uh, we need stim pack. Gonna die, yeah? Do. Who's shooting at me? I like the fact that you can't, your partner can't die, they just go down and if you don't bring them up in a fight, they just can't help you anymore. He did. Beast of a thing, that. Let's go see what Preston Garvey's got to say.
That was a pretty amazing display. Thank you. I'm just glad you were on our side. <clears throat> you guys gonna be okay now? Yeah. For a while, anyway. We can at least move someplace. Listen. When we first met, you asked about the Minutemen. One thing you should know about us, we help out our friends. So here, for everything you've done, thank you. Nice! 100 caps, fusion cell. What happens now? For the longest time, Mama Murphy's had a vision of a place called Sanctuary. Yeah. Some old neighborhood, but one we can make new again. Why don't you come with us? I could really use your help. Hey, it's my place. Thank you. you could, you're welcome. All right, Garvey. I'm in. Oh, that's wonderful. Shut up, you, you high. More to your destiny, isn't there? I've seen it, and I know your pain. Please, tell me. I need to know. You are a woman out of time, out of hope, but all is not lost. I can feel your son's energy. He's alive. I knew it. Please, tell me where he is. I need to find my son. I can't see him. Not clearly, but I feel his life force. He's out there. And even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. The great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Diamond City. The biggest settlement around. Please, <laughs> You're <I'm> useless. <laughs> I'm working for nothing. I need more. Look, kid. I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. Yeah, Say bring me your crack. We have a picture. Mama Murphy, we talked about this. That jump. <clears throat> it's gonna kill you. Oh, shush, Preston. We're all gonna die eventually. We're gonna need the sight. And our new friend here, well, she's gonna need it too. Well, let's get going. Sanctuary awaits. All right, folks. Thanks to our friend here, it's safe to move out. We're heading for that place Mama Murphy knows about. Sanctuary. It's not far. She knows about it? You mean she had one of her visions while she was stoned out of her gourd? And now you want us to just head out on another wild goose chase based on no better plan than Mama Murphy saw it? it yep. Hold on, hold on. Than... Everybody just take it easy. We're all in this together, right? So Marcy, you got a better idea of what we should do next? Anybody? Nope. Well then, sanctuary it is. <laughs> well then, shut your hole and let's get going. <laughs> So yeah, so you, usually at this point, I walk out the door and teleport back to Sanctuary and those guys turn up when they're good and ready. See, is the whole load walking around. You can dump the, uh, the first stuff you've picked up and what have you. Loaded screens are very quick on this as well, I've noticed. Absolutely zooming through the loading screens. And I think we'll take that and party. So the first thing you can do is get rid of this bloody thing. So if you dump it sort of near the bench and then go into craft or whatever, it puts it in the bench for you. And I did notice as well that you... Am I crafting that or is it already here? Yeah, I am. Oh, it's repair, that's what it is. 
if you if you want to repair the leg with one you've picked up off the ground, this is I've, this got stuck on this last time. You have to have it on your person. You can't put it in the in the store it in the bench and then try and do it. You have to put it in it, have it on you. Then you hit repair. It'll put the leg on that you've you've picked up. And that's fully working. Uh, apart from there's no helmet on it for some reason. What's that all about? I don't understand what happened there. How weird. Ah, oh, there we go. Well, that's a bit more like it, Stephen. <laughs> I think we're carrying a bit too much, people. So why transfer all your junk? And I've probably got a mini gun kicking around that we don't need. So at this point, I generally what I do is start doing a bit of crafting so that your weapons can get better. I usually do the pistol straight off the bat. And Don't have enough for the powerful receivers and everything yet, but standard receiver, heavy frame receiver. There's nothing that really fires the damage up too high, but you can get it up to 22. And grip. Gets the accuracy up, I think. Better recall hip accuracy requires six adhesive. How come I've got everything for that, but lack the requirements? Must be a, an ability that I've not got yet. And we've also got the short musket. Can't do anything with that. Oh, just short of a screw for the full thing there. Standard sight, short scope. Reflex sight is the one I tend to enjoy the best. Everything else zooms in, I think. Well, you get the idea anyway. So we've got a pistol a little bit stronger. So there you are. That is probably a great place to... We'll just have a quick chat with Preston Garvey. He's arrived. Hey, good to see you again. I was hoping you'd show up. I should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. Pretty nice place she's found for us. I think we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. What do you think? Yeah. I lived here. I used to like living here. Before the war. What do you mean? Before what war? Are you saying... I lived here over 200 years ago. I, I was frozen or something for most of it. Just woke up a little while ago. Damn. Like one of those old pre-war ghouls. You say you were frozen. Anybody else make it out with you? Just my son. Somebody 
Took him away while I was still trapped. I've been looking for him. Damn. I'm sorry. <laughs> Damn. I hope you find him. Let me know if there's any way I can help. Anyway, I am glad you're here. Okay. And Why I is that? Don't mind, but I've got another favor to ask. Oh, uh, yeah, here it comes. Settlement asking for help. There's still hope in there, many men out there, somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Miniman is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out the settlement? I'd be glad to help. That's fantastic. The Miniman could use more people like you. By the way, if you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturgis. I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help he can get. <laughs> nice. That was a fair old level up. There's nearly two of them. And if we speak to... Hey, do you have a moment? I wanted to thank you for helping us out in Concord. Mm-hmm. Don't mention it. You guys have been through hell, huh? You have no idea. In these past few months, we've lost everything. My son, he's... He's gone. I understand how you feel. I lost someone too. But you and I, we're still here, right? We have to go on. For them. I just want to trade a few things. Okay, so normally at this point I would also give them a few bits and bobs to put on. Uh... Left leg, right arm... Right leg. If you hit Y on them, they'll put the items on. And if you give them better weapons, they're more capable of defending the place as well, to some extent. But I think you have to give them... A few of the bullets to go with the gun. So I'd usually give them 5 to 10 bullets each. Some days are harder than others. But even the hard days get easier than the one before. Sanctuary. I just need to trade gear with you. Which he does without giving him the bloody ammo. Where's that guy gone? He was just there. Oh, there he is. Sturgis. You willing to do some work? Uh, yeah. Be glad to help. Because I've already done it. Tell me what you need. Well, for starters, we could use some real beds. We've been sleeping on the ground for too long. Just make sure we can sleep with a roof over our heads. Some of these old houses still look solid enough to do the trick. There's a workbench over there you can use. Give me a holler if you need anything. Hey, Sturgis. There you go. Having a place so the fact we did it all at the beginning, the only one that won't ping up is, a reliable is food, because I haven't put anyone uh, on it. I'm on it. Clean water coming up. Great. Thanks again. Hey, Sturgis. I feel better already, knowing we have a reliable supply of clean water. I hope you don't mind me asking for some more help, but our food supplies are running low. If we're gonna settle here, we'll need to get some crops established. 
I'll start planting right away. Good deal. All right. So this was the only one that didn't ping up straight away. It was the 30% of food. Now I think if you go around these gardens, you'll find... The reason defense is at zero is because we haven't put anybody on them. You see, it's one of those things again where <laughs> if you're playing it on your own, you'll stumble across it all without even thinking about it. But when you're trying to show it off... But there is some watery melons kicking around somewhere. Which I can't find. <laughs> Someone's already assigned themselves to those. It has to be here, people. It just has to be here. Oh, well, okay, I give in. <laughs> but anyway, if you're ever doing it, it is in one of the back gardens. It won't make a whole video of me trying to find watermelons. <clears throat> or you can just go harvesting around the, around the world. And plant some, and then you'll get more cha-ching XP from... The man. I think he then asks you to do power and something else, which I can't remember. really annoying. Oh well, perhaps this one right at the very top. I thought I'd been right around all of these gardens, though. Be one particular garden I've just uh, completely missed, won't it? Ah, here we go. Mute fruit. Oh, no, wait, no, you can't pick those ones up for some reason. I remember that. That's okay. Oh, for goodness sakes. I think I'll just have to do it off camera. Uh, well, while I'm doing particularly poorly at this, I will do a second part of this if people are keen enough to see more. I hope it's given you an idea of what it looks like without the enhancements uh, to some degree. And we'll then, as I say, I'll do a couple of parts when the enhancement is out. And we'll see what the differences are. To be honest, I think the majority of the differences... I mean, if they're going to 4K it or get closer to 4K with it... I won't be able to show that on my captures anyway... Because I only capture in 1080p. And... 
it can have a detrimental effect if they do too much with the graphics anyway. You might find that the panning becomes less smooth and so forth. So, you know, it's not always going for the higher graphics isn't always beneficial to the smoothness of the gameplay in the end. So we'll see just how it shows itself off when it arrives. I'm also hoping to do a couple of videos on you on the Skyrim. So I can show off Skyrim before that gets patched as well. Because I had a little go at that and that looks absolutely fantastic as well. So we'll definitely give that a whirl. It has, as always, everybody, been an honour and a privilege serving for you again in this little video of mine. And I will be back with uh, part two of Fallout 4 very soon. Take it easy, folks. Bye.